Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Rayman. I'm Super Mario Sonic Lover and it's time to continue and go to the Blue Mountains. Now, this level in particular isn't too bad from what I remember because I'm actually, at the, ti at the time of this recording I'm in the middle of, um, uh, what was it, editing the Seas Brain run of this game and, alright let's get this cage first. And uh, from what I, from what I saw, this level wasn't doesn't seem too bad. But hey, pl what uh, watching and playing are two different things. But yeah, this it, the game is going to start getting really more a lot more difficult if uh, <laughs> the second world wasn't already hard enough. But yeah, they expect you to be at your A game very quickly now. Like um, you're going to be set into situations where you have to react sometimes in like a split second and it can get pretty ridiculous and yeah you can't get that purple, purple lump uh, up there so you're gonna have to ignore that for now but yeah this is another thing with um what is it uh platforms and just objects appearing just randomly like I've, I've again I'm not a fan of it I thought I'd be able to just walk past oh well I don't think we need to get the book uh, the the boxes <laughs> yeah I, I have crash on the mind insane trilogy hype but no uh, you don't have to get all the cages again because I think it saves as soon as you get them, even if you die or something. Um, I'm pretty sure it saves as you leave the level as well, but don't quote me on that. But yeah, those guys, hit them on the head. Anywhere else, they'll just kind of flinch a little bit, then just get back up like normal. So, you want to be careful about that. They aren't too bad, you just have to be... Yeah, it's a little bit finicky though, but they aren't too bad. You just have to be a little bit careful, especially when they throw like rocks and stuff like you, like you are seeing him about to. <coughs> but yeah, and here are these guys also. What's that? Okay, I guess it was nothing. Because when you hear that sound, it usually means there's something that just appeared behind you or something like that. But it's not always clear. Like so, sometimes it's just an enemy or something. And that's not really going to help. I mean, most of the time when they do that, it's like when you have to... You have to Go down to a pathway, then head back to get to get back to the goal. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and chasing. Oh crap! <laughs> yeah, just gotta love how they do this before you get the uh, run, so it feels a little bit more tense. There we go. Still love the fact that they're called Tings. Like, well, what other name could they have been? Could have been more genius. I mean, okay. Yeah, that's a good example of why um, jump attacks are better because they'll usually just get kill things in one uh, one go usually not always but okay so this is something that's not super clear well obviously you have to, you have to uh, well that guy just jumps to his death I guess but um, it's clear that you have to get rid of these uh, little uh, molten rocks or whatever but you wouldn't expect. Some people wouldn't expect to be able to 
go on that little part of the platform because like it's almost entirely uh, spiked up, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, but yeah, it's like one of those sections where uh, are you? Is there something that's supposed to show up, or am I supposed to find a secret passage? Like, I don't know. It's not the worst thing ever. Like you, you could probably figure it out after a little bit of trial and error, but it's a, it's just that kind of cheap. But hey, but yeah, I don't think the uh, levels are gonna be too much, too long uh, from now on. Like, um, oh come on. Oh, that was way too close. See, I'm get, I, 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 it might, it might actually be better for me to die and get the uh, health back. But if we can get a life or something, we can get that health, and that will be all grand, grandiose. Oh, what? Oh, you gotta love that. But yeah, the levels from my. Uh, from what I remember, aren't that long uh, from this point on. Because uh, it's funny, because uh, it starts off the first two worlds, the second world especially, have really long levels, and then you go to the other worlds, and they start to shorten down quite a lot. Quite a lot. Um, but hey. I mean, for my money, the first level in the second world was a little bit too long for my liking. So I, I definitely prefer having a variety, a ton of uh, levels of lots of variety in them. Instead of having like just uh, not that many levels, but they're also like uh, stupidly long. Like, I prefer the former, personally. Okay, I'll take it yeah some areas have two ending points so I actually saved my I, I I swear I should have got going killed by those spikes because like uh, the music world Banland, um, you can die on those spikes in one go thankfully we're fine so this game does have some mercy it's always good to see. I'm trying my best not to make some stupid mistake. Kind of almost did there. Yeah. Yeah, again, I... Well, I haven't said this yet, but... Yeah, I've only played this game fully twice, so... I remember a lot of things about this game, but... It's not completely uh, there. Like the last time, when I recorded the Seas Brain run, it was that was a couple years ago, maybe. So my um, my um, bruh. Uh, my memory is a little bit um, like not vague per se, but it's a little bit like fadey. I don't know. That's not that doesn't make sense, but I love that. I didn't show it off, but you can actually use that to uh, uh, scare off enemies in the first level. It's basically just there if you because you don't have the ability to punch. Because reasons. I mean, I like I like that they have a sense of, sense of humor in this game. Hi. Gotta love that. I love auto scrollers as well. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah, you saw it, saw I was going way too slow for him for it to reach. Cause like that's another well, it's an instance of um the different two different types of jumps you can do is you do a stand jump and a moving jump. Yeah. That shows you the importance of the two different jumps. Oh man. Right. Go away. All right. Good. Good so far. How the hell? Oh man. This guy is gonna be the death of- okay. That works. That jump punch is ridiculous. Like seriously. It's not exactly the full length of a full charged punch, but it's like maybe halfway. I know, I'm just gonna do this. Don't care. There's probably something there behind him, but. Okay. Yeah, as you know from other Rayman games, there are a ton of levels in each world, but in this game, I think it's like four, may three or four max, and there might be some with a with less. Yeah, this game, well, uh, level-wise, it's really short. I I guess it's a whole. Making games longer so you have to get these electoons. And to be fair, I did do that on my. F uh, that was my fault. I did do that on my first playthrough, so. I did technically beat the game uh, legit the first time. I just don't care enough to do it more than once. And so after that, I'm fine with just cheating at to get to the end. I still did the 99 lives cheat though. Like as soon as I figured, as soon as I, as I found that out, I could never play this game without it. Like it doesn't even really can. I don't even really consider it that much cheating because it, all it is is just saving you time. Like from like having to go to the menu again and potentially restarting the entire game again. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Also, can you please... Alright. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Yes! Of course, there's uh, always a catch, but the end is right over here. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw the cage up there. Don't really care. Okay, that's it. Well, that's not exactly it. We still have a. Uh, what is it? Mr. Stone's Peaks. And. This boss actually gives me quite a bit of trouble. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we have this. Musician gives Rayman a super helicopter. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. It's basically. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Did Rayman Origins have a helicopter. Ha have like a flying power? I don't think it did. But I know the um, original trilogy, for lack of a better word, uh, or term rather. Um, had a flying power in each game, like Rayman 1 had this, Rayman 2 had that one lava level, Rayman 3 had the yellow copter power. Which made more sense, because like, you stop the uh, 
since it's very limited and like it's um was it since it runs out so fast it's very easy f for it not to be overpowered so you can just fly over everything but it also stops like it stops it from being used in just one specific level and being being able to be used decently like sparingly enough which i like I still think Rayman 3 is the best in the series. Like Rayman 2 uh, may might be objectively better, but as a terms of like just being a fun game, I think I I think Rayman 3 is easily my uh, easily my favorite in the series. Even though I do get a kick out of Origins and Legends, I've always just been more of a fan of 3D games. But that's just me. I mean, I grew up. I grew up with uh, Mario 64. Cr uh, well, yeah, Crash, the Crash games, um, Ocarina of Time, and all this other stuff. So, I'm just, I guess, naturally just gonna be more into 3D, 3D games. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess my introduction. I don't remember the first 2D game I played, but I wouldn't be surprised if Sonic, uh, the. Uh, classic Sonic games were some of my first uh, 2D games. Like, I didn't get into the original Mario Bros. games until like when they, well, until much late, much later. Like, my first introduction to them was when they were put onto the virtual console on the Wii. So, yeah, you can, you can definitely uh, tell that I'm very late when it comes to like 2D gaming. But, you know, they've had a, well, since like 2010, 2011, uh, they've had so, um, like this massive renaissance of like cr crazy amounts of 2D platformers and 2D indie games and all this crazy stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate 2D games a lot. I appreciate what they've done for the industry. I enjoy playing the majority of them um, and they're good. They're good quality games. I just, it's just something about 3D games that I get more interest with, like I like the idea of being able to explore f fully, like I explore this z-axis I, I guess, and um, being able to just be more free with my movements, and I don't know, I just, I just always ex enjoyed controls and the e exploration factor that 2D, uh, 3D games bring you as opposed to 2D ones. I don't know, it's just, just, that's just what I think. You can think, yeah, failed. It's pretty cool what you have to do here though. But yeah, that's what I think about 2D versus 3D games. Both have their own ups and downs, but yeah, 3D all the way. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, you had to cut these little, cut the, well, I shouldn't say little, because they're pretty big. Cut these little ropes. You, you know what I mean. You had to cut these ropes with your helicopter hair. And I, I just find that pretty clever. Like, you had to use, the, use them as, like, blades. And it's the only time in the series, to my knowledge, that you do something like this. It's really clever. Oh, I don't know. I just like clever little level design stuffs like that. Yeah, sometime it, it didn't happen there. I kind of expected it to, but sometimes when you finish uh, an area, something pops up before you, just before you hit the goal, and it's like such a huge troll. It's like, oh, a cage appeared. I had no, I had no time to react to it, so I have to replay the entire level to get it now. Yeah, it's just kind of stupid. That's why I, I really don't understand the whole things appearing randomly uh, gimmick. Like, there's no reason for it to be a thing. Like, I, I don't know. Just feels kind of uh, cheap. And... I don't know, I kind of like this section though. Like... 
I guess one f one reason why I like this game over games like Lost Levels and um, was it uh, Zelda Two? Is that okay? I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to do what I was trying to do there, but yeah, the thing I the thing I like about this over games like Zelda Two and Lost Levels is that while it's balls to the wall hard, it's still fairly um, acceptable hard. Uh, man, it, it, it can get pretty rough sometimes, but most of the time it feels fair. And I thought I grab, I thought I could grab onto it. Oh well. Yeah. <sighs>